Welcome. You are listening to the Humans of K Park podcast, produced and created by student journalists for KP Media. Each episode will feature a different student or staff member who will bring their own unique experiences to share. Welcome to the Humans of K Park podcast. I'm Caitlin Sutton, and I'm with Sophia Donovan, who is going to talk today about clubs and organizations she is involved in. Thank you for joining me. Hi, Caitlin. <laughs> um, what all are you involved in at K Park? So at K Park, I'm in Silver Stars. I'm the academic chair. I'm also an officer in FFA, and I'm involved in NHS as well. Um, For how long have you been involved in these activities? So I've been in Silver Stars and FFA since my freshman year. So this is my fourth year in both of those. And I've also been in NHS since my sophomore year. Um, Why did you pick these activities? So I picked these because first off for NHS, I have good grades. So it was just a way to help out the community, doing community service, and just getting to be involved more. And for Silver Stars, I've done dance since I was little. And for FFA, I just really like being around animals. Um, What are you involved in outside of school? Outside of school, I do NCL, and I'm also involved in bee clubs for beekeeping. How long have you been doing these activities? I've been in NCL and the B clubs since sixth grade. Um, Why did you pick these? I picked NCL just because I really like doing community service, and it's something I got to do with my sister my mom. And for beekeeping, I got into it with my dad just because I just thought it'd be really cool to help bring back the dying bee population. Um, When did you first learn about... um these activities? So I learned about beekeeping after I went to Colorado to visit my cousins and they had some beehives and on my way back my dad really wanted to join and then my siblings would join with him so I said yes. Um, How did you become so passionate about these activities? So at first I wasn't really Like, I just joined NCL for my mom and beekeeping for my dad. But after doing them and really getting to see what it was like, I just, I don't know, I just really had a love for it. What about um, your Silver Stars and FFA? Silver Stars and FFA. So I'm really passionate about Silver Stars because it gave me a really good family here at Kay Park and just a really good experience at the school and for FFA it gave me lots of really fun opportunities um what would people be surprised to know about you I'm fluent in pig latin what have you learned from being in these activities so I've learned a lot about leadership wise since I'm an officer in both silver stars and FFA and I'm an officer in NCL But I've also learned public speaking and just lots of responsibility. And the biggest one has to be time management. Uh What has been your most memorable moment being in any of these activities? My most memorable moment was my junior year, whenever we went to Hawaii as a team for Silver Stars. It was just, it was the most memorable moment because we were all really close, and we were just like a family, and it was like a big family trip. It was just super fun, and I had lots of great memories from then. Um, Who has influenced you the most while being involved in these activities? So, my biggest influence has probably got to be Miss Vaughn, our director, and she just taught me a lot about selflessness because she does so much for us as a team. It's just really inspired me to be how I am and just how I act towards others and just to put all I've got into these clubs. 
How much time a week is devoted to each of these activities? That's a good question. So I have two-hour practices for Silver Stars every day after school. And for FFA, I spend about an hour to two hours each day down at the barns taking care of my pig. Um, has there ever been a time when you thought about giving up one of these activities because of any challenges that you faced? Yes, so there were actually many times when I thought about quitting both FFA and Silver Stars. That was mainly my freshman and sophomore year just because I was balancing those on top of advanced classes. But like I said, I learned a lot about time management. So now it's not a problem for me anymore. And I'm really glad that I did not quit. Um, what are your post high school goals? So I don't know where I want to go to college yet, but I do know I want to go somewhere with a good veterinary program or just a good zoology program. How has Cape Park helped you prepare for going on and pursuing these goals? Cape Park has really prepared me just school-wise because we have really good educators and really good advanced courses. But activities-wise, I just had lots of good opportunities in FFA and Silver Stars. Given that FFA, I want to do stuff with animals, and Silver Stars has just taught me a lot about public speaking and such. Um, looking back on these past four years, is there anything you would want to change and why? Um, there's really nothing I'd want to change. I'm just, I'm really glad that I did all these activities. Um, what would people be surprised to know? About? What advice do you have for people who are struggling with joining multiple activities? My advice was just to be, go out there and to join that club that you were thinking about. Because you never know if you actually really like it or if you're just actually really good at it so um is there anything else that you would like to add that we haven't asked yet nope you covered it all <laughs> thank you so much for joining me today thank you for having me thank you so much for listening to the latest episode of humans of k-park stay tuned for the next episode coming soon